The deeper you dig, the more evidence that stacks up against Jerry and Rita Alter. After their deaths, a stolen painting valued at $160 million was found hanging behind their bedroom door. Woman Ochre, as the work is known, was taken from the University of Arizona Museum of Art back in 1985. But the man and woman who stole it were never caught. The getaway car, quite similar to a vehicle the Alters owned. We know that Jerry and Rita had a fascination with the artist, Willem de Kooning. And even if they didn't steal the masterpiece, the altars went to great lengths to protect what they had and hide it. This is the cultural patrimony of, of America. Um, Willem de Kooning rocked the art world. And um, even though he was originally born in the Netherlands, you know, he, his career took place in the United States. But perhaps the most startling clue was left in plain sight. A book of short stories that Jerry wrote in 2011. In it, a fictional account about a couple who steals a 120 carat jewel from a museum, distracting the guard and then fleeing in a getaway truck, stealing the jewel and hanging it behind a secret wall in their home for their own viewing pleasure. Details strikingly similar to what happened in the art heist. When word got out in Silver City that a priceless painting ended up at an antique store after an estate sale, some people saw dollar signs. As we were getting phone calls from attorneys who were trying to get us to keep the painting and not turn it back over to the museum. Well, by the time I'd gotten a third phone call from this attorney saying, telling me what we were going to do, and this wasn't even my attorney, um, <clears throat> I finally called Olivia and I left her a frantic message. I was just so unbelievably humbled that, that they just, they wanted to give the painting back and they wanted it where it belonged and they didn't want, they, they wanted to, it to come back as easily and quickly as possible. The owners of the antique store secretly moved that painting to a private home nearby. And within hours, police quietly staged outside. as Olivia and her team from the museum stepped inside. I will never forget that moment as long as I live. We were greeted with hugs and people are taking pictures and, and they're filming and, and they just can't wait to see what our reaction is to the painting. In a back room, propped up against a wall, there it was. A painting that no one working at the museum today had ever seen in person. It was like seeing a ghost of something in a way because I've only known this painting from photographs and seeing it in person, there were certain elements of it that were really familiar and certain elements that you can only discover by looking at the original work of art. <laughs> I just, it could, have, it could have fallen into the hands of anybody, you know what I mean? Under armed guard, the museum drove its masterpiece back to Tucson where it was first authenticated. The way this the, a little thing of note is these staples, the, it, it seems pretty amateur. The canvas compared to what was cut out of the frame in 1985. The, the two pieces are very consistent with each other. And it was a perfect match. I mean, are there any doubts in the room? <laughs> The museum is now searching for someone to meticulously conserve it before Woman Ochre ever returns to a gallery. The family doesn't talk about it. It was a big shock that the painting was there in the first place. And we just can't imagine, you know, what the details were. Even after all the evidence against his aunt and uncle, Ron Roseman says it's hard to believe they would risk everything to steal a painting. Still, though, he wonders about his uncle Jerry. It's a plausible scenario to me that he was 
um, smart enough to not only mastermind the painting theft and get away with it, but also clever enough to confess to it in his book and still get away with it. With Jerry and Rita Alter now deceased, most questions about why they had a stolen painting, they will likely remain unanswered. One thing is certain though, they got away with it.